students. How are you today? Wow, that's nice to hear. I know you are all eager to learn for our new lesson. And with that, I welcome you to our today's discussion. I am Mrs. Ruby G. Majestic Porras, your teacher broadcaster in Arts 9. I will be discussing about the Western Classical Painters. This is in line with the third most essential learning competency, which is Students need to identify representative artists from different art periods. This session will specifically seek students to 1. Identify representative painters from Western classical art periods. And number 2. Explain the importance of the painters to the history of art. To begin with, I would like to ask you this question. What is your idea about painting? Exactly! Painting is a form of expressing yourself and conveying a story depicted on a canvas. Even before humans learned to read and write, they were already artists as manifested by the different discoveries from the different parts of the world. When we say Western classical art, it involves three periods. Can you name those three? Terrific! That periods under Western classical are ancient period, classical period, and medieval period. So sit back, relax, and fasten your seatbelts as we travel back to the different art periods. Let us start with the ancient period. Prehistoric paintings. Prehistoric includes all human existence before the emergence of writing. Their paintings were found inside the caves, which may have been their way of communicating with each other for their everyday living. That was why most of their paintings were anonymously known. In other words, no one knows who painted them. Take a look at these pictures. What have you observed? Definitely, these are images of animals, human figures, and abstract signs. These are examples of cave art. Egyptian paintings. The purpose of of Egyptian paintings is to emphasize the importance of life after death. Do you know what are these? Very good! These are Egyptian tombs. The paintings of the walls on the tomb shows events of the life of the king while he was still on earth and his life in the underworld after his death. And now, make sure that your seatbelts are still intact as we travel back to the classical period. Greek paintings. Paintings during the classical Greek era were most commonly found in vases and panels. Most of the subjects were battle scenes and everyday scenes. One of the most famous Greek painters in classical era was Exekias. Exekias was an ancient Greek vase painter and potter who worked mainly in the black figure technique. He was famous because he began to explore more techniques in the rendering of three-dimensional figures. Another famous Greek painter in classical era was Agatharchus. Agatharchus was a self-taught painter who brought perspective and illusion to the world and created the art of scene painting. Roman paintings. Landscape painting was very popular then, which portrays sceneries and nature. Let us have the famous Roman painters. First, we have Thomas Cole. He is most known for his landscape painting of the American wilderness. 
The most famous among these is perhaps the Oxbow, which depicts a panorama of the Connecticut River Valley just after a thunderstorm. Another famous Roman painter is John Constable. Constable used standard practices to display historical and mythical scenes. His famous artwork was the Hayway, which depicts a rural scene which runs the distance offset by the cool waters. Are you still up for our last time travel? That's great to hear, students. This time, let's travel back to the medieval period. Yeah. Byzantine paintings. Byzantine art was purposely made to glorify the Christian religion and to express its mystery. The most famous painter of murals was Theopanes the Greek. What are mural paintings, by the way? Great job! Mural paintings are any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on the wall, ceiling, or other permanent surfaces. These are some of the murals in the Church of the Transfiguration in Novgorod. And that ends our discussion for today. Thank you students for listening and taking time in traveling back to the Western classical art. Together, we can make a difference in our lives and that would be made possible in understanding other cultures' art traditions. Once again, I am Mrs. Rubijin Majestad Boras, your teacher broadcaster in Arts 9. Ending our session with a quote, Art doesn't have to be pretty. It has to be meaningful. Stay safe and stay healthy. Have a great day!